Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to this Attila Total War battle. This battle, oops, still getting used to these controls. In this battle I was fighting against a brilliant YouTuber Lord Levin, brilliant Attila Total War player as well. If you want to see his channel he does Total War Attila videos, Rome Total War, even a bit of cross X as well. Um, his channel is in the link in the description below and if he does um, his view of this battle as well then um, the link to that video will be in the description below as well. Yep, so here we go, my soldiers are marching into the battle. Originally what I did was I recorded this um, whilst playing, but that just caused so much lag it was a stupid idea. Um, yeah, so now I'm re-recording over a replay. Um, I'm playing as... Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> don't even know. Um, who am I? Ah, I'm playing as the Vandals, he is playing as, um, oh, who is this? Um, well, some, ah, uh, um, is that the Franks or the Saxons or something? Um, yeah, either Franks or Saxons, one of those, I believe, and I have, um, a big army, of course, matching to him, but another thing I have is this cavalry group here, my cavalry army. Um, two horses, well, two groups of horses that were allowed to start outside of the battle that go and flank around him and go for his general, try and kill him. Um, I was, whilst recording this by the way, um, originally I was going on about how Lord Levin is rubbish. Um, basically, the entire video was me insulting how rubbish he is. Um, as you can probably guess by what happens by this video, um, I kind of regret doing that. <laughs> Um, he's a much better player than I thought. I don't know why, I just imagined him to be in inexperienced or something and that was going to slaughter him, but no, that wasn't the case. He kept the hill as well. Didn't want this to be like a battle where we're both stood on the hill just waiting, so I went on the aggressive, um, feeling really confident. I had a brilliant cavalry army. Um, two units of shock cavalry, three units of normal cavalry, plus a cavalry general as well. Um, only three units of archers, don't really bother much with archers in, um, they're in their, what's it called, their open space mode without many gaps, I can't remember what it's called, um, uh, sending my soldiers forward, I also have what I call um, a waste infantry group, which are basically just meant to march up there with their shields held high and to sort of um, absorb the arrows, as you can see he's using his slingers to throw the rocks down at the soldiers here. So I, I'm preferring them to fire at these axemen who are completely rubbish rather than attack my swordsmen. Uh, don't know if I should have done that. I know the Romans did it with some of their civilians, just send those in early on and stuff like that. But we're going to get a cavalry charge right now in which I attack the, his general. Um, by this point I was really expecting to um, do really well because I was hoping two groups of cavalry charges would be enough um, to kill his general, but then I got distracted on the actual battlefield. I had to bring my soldiers out, didn't get to charge as much. And as you can see, um, he's not really losing any units in that charge. So, yeah, he had a very good general there. Um, what's happening at this battle? He has a lot of cavalry, but they're all javelin, javelin cavalry. Um, I wasn't particularly happy with my cavalry, but he's did much worse. So. Yeah, I don't know if I can really complain at that one. Oh, there was some charge here. Um, my shock cavalry charged, I believe, his javelin cavalry. Um, or something like that. But now his javelins have just completely torn me to shreds. So, yeah, they're decent units, but not the best. Had to retreat my cavalry at this point. Because he's coming at me with more units. I killed about 15 of his there. I lost about... Um, I did a quick count of about... 80, I think it was, or 60, somewhere around there. Okay, so charge some of his javelin cavalry. These javelin cavalry... Yeah. Light skirmisher cavalry, I'll call them. Um, these are rubbish against um, just normal cavalry. I think it's shock that I've sent in, or is it just normal? I don't know. Um, chills and vandal raiders, anyway. Yeah, so they're, of course, going to get slaughtered, but as we saw, just um, somewhere a bit more over here, his javelins completely tore apart my cavalry to shreds, so... Javelin cavalry are good in certain situations, I don't really like them that much, but... Uh, if they worked, they worked. 
so yeah I've engaged here with his javelin cavalry my horses hold out much longer than his does I think we even break about one or two groups of them um, I have about five or ten horsemen here who have just survived um, twelve actually um, still getting hit by javelins just trying to charge his um, slingers here or nomad nomadic hunters just to see what I can do I know they're dead so I might as well put them to some use and they get a lot of kills but they quickly get killed themselves um, it's a bit chaotic back here how many do I have left one left um, um, his javelin cavalry I'm about to retreat but he sent his spearmen um, at my cavalry I'm trying to send some swordsmen into camp with spearmen he's sending in more spearmen I only more swordsmen I only have spearmen coming up and yeah we're just a complete nightmare uh, let's get a better view archers they did basically nothing you can see that in the final stats at the end um, my swordsmen have hit on their skirmishers right now their slingers yeah we're getting a bit of lag now it the lag is not really caused much by the game it's more because I'm recording at the same time it um, my computer usage thing seems to take up so much more recording space than anything else you know that sort of weird stuff um, engaged here with my swordsman um, don't have a clue what that was um, it looked a bit like that bird there but it also looked like an axe as well just flying in the sky got really confused right, what's happening here um, so got some cavalry ah this is my general attacked by some swordsmen and some javelin cavalry or light skirmishers um, I know this doesn't look good and um, at this point I'd actually really start to complain over the previous video I recorded about how awful my cavalry is I was very disappointed with my general and I still am um, take another look at him later just want to have a quick overview of the battle um, yeah so normal battle right now he's still all to hill right, back to my general as you can see I've lost about 30 troops almost there 20 but it's near enough same thing and he's just losing loads more troops can't get him in the battle everything is just going for him and eventually he does die I try to charge these units here as you can see and to try and rout them but it don't work they just end up killing my general Yeah, he's down to 35 men, started with 80. I try to bring him out of battle, I think, at this point, because he's just so weak, he's going to die. Um, oh, there's a bit of fighting over there. He's starting to break their skirmish cavalry. Come on, General. But I'm, I know he's rubbish. Yep, yeah, my General fell. And it broke soon after that, I think. Yeah, so my General's cavalry there were very rubbish and disappointing. My archer's getting zero kills, almost. Um, this battle lasts for a while, they, they, they just fight forever and ever. Problem is, I've used all my cavalry up. Um, I have a small group here of my generals that I'm just about to break, and I have about 20 cavalry down here as well, somewhere. Where are they? Um, yeah, 20 cavalry, 25 actually, yeah, apart from that all my cavalry are gone, that was a big mistake, used them all at the start to try and just do loads of damage, but it didn't work that well. Doing quite well over here, spearmen against um, spearmen and slingers, their uh, slingers have almost broken. Um, fighting well against the spearmen as well, and now the rest up video is just this sword to sword battling that goes on. I, I like those shields, look at those. That's nice. Yeah, so Lord, look there. Lord Levin was definitely a great opponent. Um, I expected him to be completely rubbish. Um, I was wrong to expect that. He's, he's much better than I first thought. Uh, yeah. Come on, soldiers. Get some kills. Right, got a lot of infantry here. Doing well here, however, eventually. It sends in some reinforcements because on this side I'm just getting completely slaughtered. It's just going to be a cavalry charge. Try to charge these cavalry with my spearmen just to, you know, try and kill some of his javelin ears. Um, how successful was that? 
and that was hardly successful at all. Uh, yeah, and then soon they actually break as well because they've been charged by cavalry and swordsmen. Yeah, these ones are starting to go now. Yeah, he's got another group of cavalry over there. I'm just waiting. Uh, actually, they're, they're fighting mine, but my soldiers are just slowly dying. Breaking here as well. And it's at this point that I realised I've lost. And I started to take back the um, words I said um, on my previous recording about Lord Levin about him being rubbish at all computer games. No, he's good. I'm just joking, of course, when I say these things. Um, his general stuck in the fight. Uh, if I was him, I would have brought my general out just in case if something goes wrong. And then brought him in later once victory is certain. Yeah, they're all running now. My archers are still holding up. Oh, yeah, these ones are running away, of course, because of because a few archers started firing at them, so they all ran off. Um, Spearmen are breaking here. Yeah, these two swordsmen, as I said, we're now getting surrounded a little bit. Um, yeah, they eventually break. I make a, a final push at the end in the final 30 seconds or so for the general. Just send everybody in for him. Doesn't work, sadly. I, I had to just take a gamble at that point and hope for the best. His cavalry has charged my archers. That's the end of them. Um, I, I would look more over here, but it's covered by trees and it's difficult to see. So I'm just that's why I'm staying more on this side. Yeah, archers are about to go soon. Yep, they're gone. Swordsmen just trying to haul out here. We, we've rooted some of their spearmen, which is good, but. We just have so many more units here, another group of cavalry as well. <sighs> Let, let's see, um, balance power. So it's definitely in his favour. I have 700 soldiers left, he has 1,400, so it's, it doubles my army size right now. Um, however, coincidentally, and this is just complete coincidence, we both started with exactly 2,720 soldiers. I um, remember seeing that whilst playing, that was incredible how we both started with the same number. I don't know if it was like in some secret bull thing I didn't know about and it just happened that way but it's interesting how that happened but yeah. So here are my swordsmen making some final stand as we get surrounded. You won't want to be in here if you were a soldier. Not the best experience of life really. Um, I think he sends his general in soon and that's when I just start sending my soldiers in for his general but no, it doesn't work. Sadly, it didn't work. And I'm slowly getting surrounded now. And um, sending some spearmen up against my swordsmen. Just to close these final gaps that we have to breathe. All these dead bodies round. I would run away if I was in my army. Yeah, I think at that point I tried to enter Frenzy and um, just to do something. I don't really know what it does, but I gave it a go. Yeah, he's keeping his general back. I might be wrong when he said he sends them in or something. Yeah, I have lots of soldiers um, just with their backs turned um, from the actual enemy, just facing this way where there's no one, so that's why I charge them out at this point. Um, just get out of there, I've broken free with 90 swordsmen. Then I charge your slingers to try and. Um, he surrounded me, then I'm trying to re surround him but they sort of get caught up by these swordsmen here and these ones as well so it doesn't entirely work, he sends his general in just to try and close me in a little bit further and then I try and go for his general I, either way it doesn't really look good for me right now final 50 seconds let's see um, is he going to show us? No, it's not done to show us how many soldiers we have left. Ah, there we go. Um, I have about 400 left, he has 1,200, so you can see my numbers are just dropping um, really quickly right now. There's just nothing I could do at this point, it's one. I um, just had to keep fighting. I, I tried some light like, tactics to try and um, charge them from behind, but it, that just ruined me even further, but I had to take the risk. Uh, yeah, these swordsmen are still holding out over here against cavalry and some other swordsmen. Let's 
get a better angle. Oh, he's charged me there as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yes, there we go, there we go. So, might as well just speed up a little bit. There we go. Let's get, um, do some sword fighting. Yes, it's almost over. Well, anyway, well done, soldiers. At least you tried. Can't really complain with that. As long as you had fun, basically. As long as the soldiers had fun, then we're the winners, aren't we? Let's go with that. Yeah, so it's coming to the final end, even these swordsmen who have lasted forever with a hundred soldiers still alive are starting to break. Yeah, it's just these now. Ah, uh, yeah, oh, I felt a little bit right now. So if you want to play against me on Attila Total War, if you want to um, beat me as well, um, <laughs> then just, um, like, friend me on Steam or something like that. I don't know the proper term for it all. Um, my Steam account can be found in my main channel page um, on the About section and also you know, on the channel art part where it has those little boxes. Probably not a clue what I'm on about, but oh well. Um, yeah, so let's see. Final statistics if it was. Yes. Um, my cavalry there, not getting as many kills as I would have hoped for. It, this cavalry unit of his got 268 kills. Ah, oh, that was good. Um, my X-Men getting zero kills, but that's what I sort of expected, really. Didn't expect much better. Um, swordsmen, these swordsmen were brilliant. Um, look at this one here. 300 kills, 100 kills each, the rest of them. His swordsmen were good, but yeah, none of them got 323 kills like the swordsmen group here, so big congratulations to those. Um, general, I've never been more disappointed with a general in my life. He was horrible. I'm, I'm never playing as a Vandals again. Spearmen did okay, I guess, against his cavalry. Problem is, they get cut up cu in a lot of swordsmen. Archers completely rubbish, but um, I trained for more cheaper archers, so that's not understandable. Um, shock cavalry as well, they didn't even do that great. Um, I lost 2,000 soldiers, he lost 1,600. Um, he had a thousand remaining at the end. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like it if you have subscribed for more Attila Total War or whatever I can be bothered playing at the time. Hope you enjoyed this video and good bye.